Well, the Commanders begin the NFL draft with a bang. Second overall selection, they take Jaden Daniels, the Heisman Trophy winner out of LSU. And this kind of has a strange sense of deja vu. Yes, 2012, they took the Heisman Trophy winner, Robert Griffin III out of Baylor with the second overall selection. That began rather well, but wound up not doing well at the end, as most things don't end well, otherwise they wouldn't end. How is this different? I think it's a different player. It's a much different organization, and it's a much different NFL at this point in time, too. I think that uh, what I like about Jaden Daniels as a quarterback is that, yes, he had the 40 touchdown passes last fall for LSU. He performed just as well inside the SEC as he did against non-conference competition. He's taken some knocks. I think he's a much more mature player than Robert Griffin III was when he took over the reins for the Burgundy and Gold. I also think this is a much better organization uh, right now than the one that was helmed by Bruce Allen and Mike Shanahan back in 2012 with Dan Snyder owning completely different ownership group. And so I think that they've made the right pick, and the question is now moving forward uh, Friday evening, can they make the right picks to surround Jaden Daniels. It's one thing to get the right quarterback, but if he can't stay upright, if he doesn't have anybody to throw to, there's going to be disaster. The key Friday evening, they've got five picks in the, uh, if you combine the second and the third rounds, they have to take at least one offensive lineman, get a tight end as well. Give uh, you know Jaden Daniels some targets. Also, I would look to see them get an edge rusher because they traded all their pass rushers last fall in order to get some of these draft picks. So, yes, they've made a good selection with Jaden Daniels, but the journey has just begun. Be sure to check us out at 25 and 55 all day. And, of course, check out the sports page at WTOP.com.